today we're going to finish up our rocket ship. Um, so here is our rocket ship. And I probably need to zoom out here. So, so there's our rocket ship. And what we're going to do is we're going to simply take this part and I'm going to duplicate it. Then I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to put it right here. All right. I'm going to get rid of the stroke paint. Okay. I'm going to make it red, red. Uh, we may want to make it blue, blue, right? And we want to shrink it. Okay. This is going to be the first of many flames. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to duplicate this first. I'm going to set it aside. Now I'm going to make a small one. So, there we go. And then what you want to do is you want to blur this. Blur it good. Blur it good. Maybe, uh, oops, slightly opaque. Okay. Uh, we're going to put it right up next to the nozzle. And then we're going to send it behind. Okay. Now, if we want to, we can do something like that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is take this one, I'm going to send it to the back, and I'm going to make it, what do you think, orange? Orange? No. Red? Ah, well that doesn't look blue anymore. So let's make that opaque, like that again. So what is it? Yellow it's usually goes right to yellow. I guess it kind of went by the yellows. Uh, let's change this yellow. So it's a much lighter blue. Let's make this yellow a little there we go and we're going to blur that up okay maybe even make it longer we're going to duplicate that we're going to send that to the back we're going to make this yellow yellow okay super yellow and we're going to make that like that and bigger. Okay. And okay. And then blur that up. Okay. I don't know why it's sticking like that. Blur this up even more. And what we can do is make this a little opaque. And what that'll do is help blend the yellow with the red. Okay. Now for smoke. <clears throat> And basically, you're doing the same thing with smoke. You're just making this D. You're going to pull this out further. Okay, and we're going to make it gray. Okay. Now, 
And what we do is you just double these up. What we're going to want to do is we're going to have to fit everything in here. And what I need to do is really fix that so that it's a little better than that. Well, that's not too bad. This one is needs to be brought in slightly. And then pulled down. Okay, and then what we're going to do is select all. Okay, and then if I wanted to, I could shrink it all down. Oh, Control Z. Okay, so that's how you do your rocket ship and your flames. Though I'm not, I don't know if I'm happy with the flame, the way the flame turned out. I, I think I don't like the blue. I think that's fine. Just the red and the yellow. Make the red a little f tighter. Okay. And, but I think you get the point. Now, when it comes to making like a portal, it's really much the same thing as what we're doing. We're gonna do. Uh, let me just go in here. And let's say we're going to put it on this side right up here. So what I would do is I would take an oval and do something like that. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this again, duplicate it. Okay, take this over here, take our oval, put it right there. Uh, we are going to bring it up though. And then we're going to go shift, and I believe we go difference. We go, uh, um, let's see, what would that be? We want this, so, uh, exclusion? Nope. Uh, I don't like these, the way they do these. Uh, intersection. There we go. And what we do is we simply want to make this yellow. We want there to be no stroke paint. Okay. Okay, and then what we do is we duplicate this, okay, we send it down one, okay, and then we make it bigger, oops, okay, and then let's blur it up. Okay, and you see what it does. It makes it look like it's glowing. All right, now if you want to put people in there, you can put people in there. You can do whatever you want, okay? It's your call. Now, what I would also do is I would probably take some strips of color here and match it up so it looks like the yellow is spilling in to the reflection of the ship or the cone here. So, but that's uh, basically how to make a ship, how to do a rocket. Oops, there we go. How to do a rocket in Inkscape. Okay. So, my name is Michael Langdon, and this is LearningEngineer.com, where we engineer learning for efficiency. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye.